This is a hub motor, as you know. This is a stator. This is ferrofluid. Just just one word of warning, don't get this on your fingers because it looks like you've shit yourself and wiped your ass with no toilet paper. What's this? Look at that. <laughs> it, it sucks it out. It's amazing stuff, it really is. For anybody who doesn't know, ferrofluid is used uh, to bridge the gap between the stator and the magnets whereby dissipating the heat a lot better and a lot quicker and keeping the motor cooler in theory people are going to argue against that and to be honest I don't give a shit I mean you could just literally bloody squirt the stuff in it doesn't matter oh it's running out now but the good thing about ferrofluid is it doesn't it doesn't really come out uh, because it's magnetic, it's ferrous and it sticks to the magnets so it doesn't run out. I don't know if you can see that but can you see it's actually raised above the magnets so when I put the stator in the middle um, that will just bridge straight across onto the stator and that's exactly what I want to do is bridge that gap. Obviously it will spread itself around when, when it's done. Oh, a good tip for everybody, uh, when you're using acetone, wear gloves all the time because otherwise you cannot unlock your phone afterwards. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. You don't want to put your fingers in the middle of this when it goes. <laughs> Every time it gets me. This is the chassis plate thing, frame, whatever you want to call it. It's a piece of piss to get it apart. This thing is all so... What do they call it? What's the name? What's the word? Modular. It's made up of so many different pieces. Modular. And this comes apart so easy. You have the controller in the front, the battery in the back. The controller, all the wires, everything is all colour coded. In the manual, it tells you exactly what they do. It's a piece of piss to wire them. You've got no wire tracing, no nothing. You just get the colour and it tells you in the manual. Fantastic, that is. I wish everybody would do that and not try and hide it. Anyway, I took it apart purely because... Oh, it's a scooter on there. I never noticed that before. That's plainly bloody obvious, though, isn't it, really? I took it apart purely because I can work on it a lot easier. This is the way I'm having the swinging arm. Uh, these used to be on the inside there with a bar, a separator bar in the middle there. But now I'm going to put them on the outside until I've got a solution for it. The separator bar is going to be this piece here which is uh, going to go on there. I've got to cut it to length. Uh, the bearings will still be on the outside, they will be fine, they won't be clamped together. It'll still have a fulcrum sort of thing, not a fulcrum, a, a thing, whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. This one here is for the shock absorbers, an extra long one, uh, which goes through the top piece here. And now I've stripped all this out, cleaned all the, the adhesive and everything else off it. So, I can start building the battery. Now these, these things, I've got to spray them black again after I've scanned them in again. Um, I am going to be using these for the time being until I get enough cash to do all the carbon fibre bits, but I will be making these out of carbon fibre. I'm going to get the batteries out. And I'm going to work things out, get the phase runner, get the BMS, get absolutely everything laid out to see exactly what size battery I can fit. My battery is going to be probably lighter than the original one because I'm not using any packaging. I'm using the frame as a, as protection. So it should, it should in theory be lighter. Uh, the whole thing should be lighter than when it came out of the factory. I am, I am really struggling at the minute. I'm going to chop my f***ing leg off if it doesn't stop. I really, I'm, I'm going to chop it f off. I'm a bit undecided at the minute. I can now get the BMS there, the phase runner there, and 20S. 
but I don't know. I don't know whether to put the phaser in on top of there and I can move that up there and I've got loads of space for, for other things. I've still got to put my um, 12 volt regulator in here, DC DC regulator and you know there's there's ample places to put it now. Although it's not perfectly over there it should be here. Oh don't mind. This is how I'm having the pack. So we've got 20S blah 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 3p blah 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 and then we've got 20s and 3p so it's actually going to be 20s 6p which equals it's going to be 72 volts 15 ampere hour battery that should get me a long long way hopefully anyway uh, but like I said this isn't built for speed it's built for economy the higher the voltage that the, the more batteries you can get in the more in parallel the more in series the, the longer it's going to run I've got to start and put these on, which is going to take a long time. With me having breaks in between and everything, this will probably take me two days to do, believe it or not. Because these aren't very easy to apply perfectly. But I want them perfect. I want every single one to be perfect. Although that isn't. Now it is. I like that. There you go. I've got to do all them now. Tried to tidy them up and they weren't having it. The reason why I'm putting these things on the top, these protectors, uh, they've already got a protector on. That's one I've just picked up that isn't perfectly straight. That's annoying. The protectors that they put on aren't exactly in the middle anyway, so it doesn't look very good, but you know, it, it works perfectly. Whatever. The reason why I'm putting those protectors on, now just to show you an unwrapped battery. This is the negative. All of this on the outside is all negative. That bit in the middle, the tit, that is the positive, and that's it. If I was to short that out, which I'm not going to, but if I was to short, so I will anyway, literally like that. As you can see, it smokes. So if you, oh, <laughs> if you if you accidentally short that against that that little piece there when you're spot welding if you were to go across there put a bit too much heat on and that bridges that that's what happens that's why you put those protectors on to stop that from happening so with that said I've done all those I should have done those properly on every single build that I've done but I don't know why I just couldn't be asked or oh, it was okay you should use them all the time just to be 100% certain that it's not going to get bridged so there's that and the next thing I've got is this VHB tape which I did share a link the last time and the bloke sold out within an hour you greedy gits bought them all so what I've got to do is um, I've got to try and rearrange it somehow but I use a piece of that on there down to there I smooth that across I'll get my scissors and I cut that like that and then I get the next one which is going to be oh, I think I'll do the parallels first I don't know yet but anyway I pull I, I pull the other side of that off I'll have to redo this again 
and then I put it like that and that holds that into position and also you've got your separation please don't use hot glue if you can get away with it because hot glue cracks uh, I mean obviously with these things all you've got is that PVC insulation which is so thin so if that was to, if that was to rub through and you start touching the things if you've got a positive and a negative like that you're going to end up with the fire so you've got to be very very careful now this VHB stuff is like a rubber a bogey sort of tape and it gives a little bit of movement it doesn't completely stop it so it doesn't actually wear it through at all it's the best thing that I've found to actually use for it don't use hot glue because all hot glue does is it just wears away, it wears it away and it cracks when it gets cold it cracks when it, when it gets hot it, it just messes everything up I don't know why people use it, it just makes me cringe I'm sorry people but it does make me cringe so that's what I've got to do with that I've got to go through all these, I've got to set them all up in exactly the right size uh, I've got to get a straight edge so I can line them all up and make every, every single one perfect have them all lined up anyway so what I've got to do now is take one from there reverse that and then take another one from there reverse that so I've got to do that but I've got to put VHB which I think I'm going to put two bands across there rather than putting them across all of those no I'm not cutting corners, I'm going to put three strips on there and then I'll butt it up against that one, that's the way I'm going to do it. So I've got all that to do again. It doesn't take too long and it's therapeutic. That's all the tape thing, double sided VHB stuff done, I reckon the middle of it's about there, so I think, one, two, twenty, so the next thing I've got to do is stick them together, if I get my straight edge, as in roller, and I put it on the table like that and then I can butt those up against that like that you get my drift Well there you 
eagle-eyed people are going to notice that this pack here isn't perfectly straight. It's slightly like that. This one is, this one isn't. That's annoying. That's very annoying. <laughs> it's slightly. It's a minute amount. It doesn't matter, but it's annoying. Anyway, I should be able to straighten it up if I put it like that and then press down on one corner, it should straighten it back up. I hope. It better, it's, anno it's just annoying. It's annoying the shit out of me, that is. The other annoying part is, I, I, I line these up, and I know I've got to take this bit off, I didn't need this one bit. I lined everything up with my name and everything on this side. And I should have put them on the sides. So it's visible from the side. That's just another annoying part, but anyway. It doesn't, ooh, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you need to get a VHB tape off, the first thing you do is you take the top piece off, obviously, and then you pull it quick. Don't pull it slowly because it doesn't come off. And you do the same with hot glue, believe it or not. If you try and pull hot glue off quickly, uh, slowly, it just comes off in pieces. But if you pull it off quick, it comes off in one. I'm going to start, obviously I've got to put the series connections on, which means I've got to put one from there to there. And then on the opposing side, I've got to go from there to there, and then from there to there, and then there to there, to make the 20 series. Uh, I've got to do that on each one of those, and then I've got to parallel these up. Or I could parallel them up and then put the series links, but I prefer to do the series links first. I don't know why, it doesn't matter which way you go around it. I'm going to be using 0.3mm nickel, as I always do. The current on this, it'll handle, well in theory the battery should handle 2550, 7500, 120, 150 amps. Uh, it's not going to use that much. I reckon that weighs the same amount as the old battery. But it's a lot higher voltage and a lot higher capacity. I don't understand why that other one was so bloody heavy. Anyway. I've got to start cutting nickel now. The final de design of the battery is that. It's going to be tight. Uh, I've got to have a gap on that side and I've got to have a gap on that side. I think this will work. I hope this will work. It's a better bloody work. I, w I was actually thinking about putting the batteries like that. You see, if I put it like that... <laughs> Then I could get another two in here and then make a complete one big massive battery. But this is all about weight. It's not going to be any heavier than the other one at all. If I did it like that and put an extra cell in, yes, these, these are closing a bit. But, I don't know if I can show you. You can see that that ain't going to fit in there. And this is all about number one being standard one <laughs> one being standard and number two it can weigh no heavier than the the current one so this is well no it's not it's like that that's the way it's gonna go i reckon i can shoe on that in there i hope i can shoe on that in there i don't know how yet <laughs> <laughs>